Well, those very nasty and pesky buffalo gnats, well, they're back and they're showing up earlier this year. It's forcing some Arkansans to do anything they can to prevent the insect from potentially killing their pets and their livestock. Fox 16's Price McKeon speaks with an Arkansas County family who knows that pain personally. Buffalo gnats, also known as black flies, are an annoyance, but they can be much more than that. The insects can kill animals. One family who's experienced just that described the insects suffocating their pets. This soon-to-be eight-year-old sits in his truck outside his great-grandpa's Arkansas County home Sunday. But Cole Fletcher's usually catching a different ride off Highway 130. Are you trying to nibble my hand? These horses. The buffalo gnats killed two of our horses last year. I've been burning everything that we can burn in my pasture for my horses. His great-grandfather says the insects that killed two of his horses last year showed up weeks earlier this year. It makes you feel like they probably don't get worse before it gets better. Connell Gill could be right. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission says flooding and weather have created conditions for another potentially huge buffalo gnat outbreak this spring. I can't ever remember us having these gnats when I was a kid. That's what puzzled me. Why we're getting them now. He's trying to um, put some spray on the horses and he's wiping them down. As hay burns for the third week, the second grader sees his papa's passion to protect the animals he loves to show. This one's Maggie. But it's what this kid can't unsee that keeps Gil looking for answers. They were standing against the fire and the gnats went up their noses. We're gonna have to get some help somewhere. That made me sad. It wasn't very fun either. I bet the horses didn't like it either. We learned the Arkansas County Sheriff's Office has not received any reports of gnats killing livestock so far this year, but this may be only the beginning. Back to you.